part of this Aww. because look what's happening. John Chichilla is on the couch. How's it going? And he brought a toy that is on Katie's face. That does not. <laughs> Jeez. I brought I a toy that on that's on Katie's face that puts her in a virtual <laughs> setting. <laughs> She's playing Temple Run VR right now on an Oculus Gear uh, with a <laughs> Samsung phone. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Well, she's busy. She's at Katie Dutters on the Twitter. Uh, new new star of Brazilian TV. Maybe yes. we'll mention that a little bit later. Uh, Chilla, what is on Katie's face? So the Galaxy or it's a, the Galaxy Gear VR, mm-hmm. which is made by Samsung in partnership with Oculus. This is the developer device, which is a it's and I don't necessarily think it's developer from the standpoint of you get something special. I think it's more like the um, just pointing at things. I'm sorry, audio. It's it's more like the Google Glass was as far as more of reference hardware or like an Explorer edition or something along those lines mm-hmm. um, from the fact that there's going to be a consumer version that comes out. Um, I think this is to get developers thinking on how they can build their apps and how things work. Um, this device only works with the Samsung Galaxy S6. Um, it does not work with the S6 Edge, which you had to get a different unit for. It does not work with the new um, S6 Edge Plus or the S or the Note 5. Um, so it's it's very... The, the form, the mold, the plastic that's used on the front of it's very limited to what phone it can, can plug into. Um, the device actually, you slide the phone in on an angle into its USB port. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> it's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you slide the phone in on like a 45 degree angle and then click it into place and it automatically launches... <laughs> The, the Oculus app. Um, the, and the first time you do launch the, put the device in there, it actually, the first thing it tells you to do is now please eject the device because it has to download the Oculus store. And then it, then once you have the Oculus store, you can start to so, get So it basically verifies like that. you have the device and then says, oh yeah, here's all the stuff now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so in, with, with the recent announcement around Gear VR, um, there wasn't, I wouldn't I won't say there was a there's a ton of stuff in the store up until I mean the, the store probably quadrupled in size in the last two weeks um, recently adding Netflix. There's a there's a neat kind of you can go into movie theater mode where you can load any video onto it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't come up in an actual v, VR type environment where it's where it's all the way around you like, like <laughs> what Katie's experiencing right now. Um, That's the biggest pain that I've seen is you uh, you you look behind you like to to pilot the ship. I have to look in every direction, right. so I need to turn. I guess I need to stand up. You either need to stand up, or I think you had a good idea of using a bar <gasps> stool. Um, is probably a good way to to achieve that kind of concept. Not letting me do much. It's making me watch stupid Avenger videos <laughs> <laughs> on a Samsung TV. Oh, look at the ceiling. Wow. And that's one of the things. So so you can actually put it in like a movie theater mode, and it actually makes it look like you're sitting in a movie theater and the mm-hmm. video you have actually plays on a movie theater screen on the other side of the room. Mm-hmm. Um, but that is one of the biggest things I will say is pew, you, you, pew. <laughs> you need, you need a pretty decent no, amount of space. Hit the back button. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found that when I was, was, Kind of using the device at first, I was constantly knocking my head on a door. What? <laughs> um, because I have door like my computer unit now sits inside of a cabinet. Okay. Um, and the doors open, so I was actually to like how kind of how you, you moved need your head. You need a clearance. Yeah, you need you need a good six foot circle around you. I always said you need like a room that I'm you're gonna be in able a to. Room. I don't need a room. <laughs> <laughs> my table i have a pool maybe there's a samsung tv there's some stars out there's the my infinity pool there's a menu (laughs) so so katie what do you think about the experience is first of all is this your first time using vr yes yes (laughs) (laughs) we're gonna all look like a bunch of weirdos in the future (laughs) what what do you think like what what are your impressions I think I, 
it's it's cool because you definitely are in the environment but oh my gosh i can't imagine how i'm gonna feel tomorrow like my neck do you know what i mean <laughs> like your neck and i feel like if if like those headphones do um anti-noise cancellation yeah so like if we pump that in she would probably barely be able to hear us right um so I feel like you can kind of immerse yourself in the situation. Like, like, I felt like I felt like when I was on it, I, you were trying to talk to me, and I felt like I I definitely felt like I was in there. So the headphones are important right. uh, to, to, to pair with that thing. Like using earbuds are probably not going to be as effective in this thing. Right. But I'm just like I just felt like I was in a cone, which like partially freaks me out because I'm just like, okay, I know stuff is happening out here, right? So well, and. Well, it's weird because, like, when I started, the menu was You have no here. clue what's going on around you. And now, like, the screen is here. Oh, so it's, like, going off center? And that, that is one thing that I did notice in, in some of the demo stuff. It does get kind of 3D spatially confused. Oh, cool. I think I'm in an art installation. And that is... So that's one of the other things that was really cool is there's, a, there's actually one app that you can actually put yourself in different locations. I'm at the mm -hmm. Governor's Ball Festival. <laughs> So you can put yourself on the, the top of the Empire State Building and one of those glass overlooks where you really? can look down. I don't want to watch this guy spray paint thing. Boo. <laughs> what? Dude, you're boring. No. So are you in the movie section? Yes. So there's some kind of one that's just still photos and it's it's 360 degree photos where you can okay. kind of submerse yourself in, in a photo, which I thought would be really cool if you could do that like in the studio here and you could have a 360 degree. Oh, that's when you were talking about like the 3d podcasting kind of idea. Yeah. And there are games, but the games are like, again, a little weird. One thing they're trying to, they're trying to definitely play on the, it has to be a 360 degree view. Right. They, they want you in a very three dimensional. This is what you need is a idea. game controller. And that's the <laughs> one thing that wasn't out when yeah. i got this this unit but it's it's pretty easy to figure out what you're doing though there's only really two buttons yeah. there's the back button and the select button i don't think i even found the back button <laughs> so i mean resolution wise uh, it's obviously you're, this is not going to be as good as what the Oculus vr is going to be because your, your phone while your phone is high resolution it's still splitting that and creating one picture right no it's actually creating two if you ever look at but I'm saying like, like VR videos. Well, what, what what resolution is is that the, screen? Like a 10, 1080 maybe. I think it's closer. I think it's a, it's around 1080 because it's 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 on par with like an Apple device. So it's, right, you're, right. you're actually probably a little bit above. But 1080. it's still taking that down. Like you're still taking the portion and the portion and combining that. And I think that's still like whatever those resolutions. I, I've are. heard I've heard it's around if it, it's the equivalent of 400 480. Right, right. So, so, I mean, it's not HD. It's a little you're bit below 720. It. You're going to see it. It, it can get pixely. If you're sitting on retinas all day, you're going to notice this. Yeah. Thing. Hey. Oh. <laughs> but uh, some of the photos and stuff like that Ooh, look I'm going look on the really helicopter good. ride in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I think it's really cool. For people that may not be able to get to go somewhere. I mean, cool. I'm never going to get to go to Dubai. Mm -hmm. But I can throw this thing on and, and take a helicopter ride, which I think is a pretty neat concept. That was a story that came up around oh. Google Google Class. Was was there was a there was a oh. you know a, a grandmother that was like pretty late in her years and and they had a I think that she recorded going to a place or got something and 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 hooked it up and no it was an Oculus actually it was like an early Oculus uh, dev kit and they set it up and and had like kind of a 3D walk through Paris and she's like I got to go to Paris you know because mm -hmm. you know she wouldn't have in her old age hadn't had the opportunity. And uh, no, no, I think that's absolutely like that kind of thing. Could you imagine just this and just walking down in street view? Mm -hmm. I think would be cr tremendous. I mean, look how well our Insta video does. Our periscopes and things of our city is particularly when I was on vacation and mm -hmm. how people just wanted to experience different parts of the world. <laughs> now you can now you can now you can experience it in a, in a 360 degree mm -hmm. and, and all over the place. Well, even literally to, I'm looking down there Hello. to the low end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, do you, are you having the like where's my crotch syndrome? <laughs> no, my crotch is a water. Well, that, house is my crotch. That's one of the interesting things that I thought they did pretty well in the in the Avengers demo mm -hmm. was when you you're it starts you off looking at your reflection in the in a glass. Right, right. So you see the Iron Man armor and it's moving to and you it, and everything. And if you would have looked down, you would, see, you would see your your hands as armor. Now, obviously, it doesn't know exactly where your hands are right, mapped, right? But it gives you the concept. 
I, I felt I actually like wanted to put my hands in the place they were in in the video. Mm -hmm. um, so I it's it it really I think immerses you in the technology. Right. It's fun. And for and I look at it as if you're a Galaxy owner, I think the 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 end price of this is going to be ninety nine dollars. Yeah. So to pick up for ninety nine dollars, I mean, there's people that buy controllers that are ninety nine dollars. Ninety nine dollars, and you have virtual reality. Right. You know, and again, like it's not. It doesn't make sense for me to say, okay, I'm going to go get this thing because I got to get the phone, plan, whatever. You right. know, it, it. Yeah, it absolutely does not make where, sense. Where I think they would be wise, and, and Samsung, if you're listening. Mm -hmm. please please hear my words they need an ipod touch type device right if they could sell that device with this no plan wi-fi only decent device i think they i think they would have something significantly cheaper because it's not going to have all that the phone tech that this thing has especially when you look at like i think microsoft in today's news announced the hololens developer edition coming in at three grand mm -hmm. to start holy crap so I'm a burning man. So a hundred, a <laughs> hundred ninety nine dollars for their developer edition versus three thousand dollars for the. It's it's night and day. Now it's two different technologies, right? Virtual reality versus augmented reality. But in reality, it's a, it's a large price difference. Mm -hmm. Katie, <laughs> Katie. Well, and this is the one. Like like I said, this is the one thing I wish. Not only could we see her reaction, but I wish we had a way to see what she was seeing. Uh, yeah, be able to, to kind of dole, because we could just only imagine what she's looking at right <laughs> There's now. There's not a lot of cars right now, and some tents, and it's not K nighttime yet. I think things will change. <laughs> uh, uh, Katie, you want to join us again? Sure. The, the, <laughs> the one thing I will say, too, and I'll be interested when she, when she takes the device, device off and I can take a look at it. Um, no, I'm not going to put it on. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to figure out where you were. Oh, I just got tonight. Things got exciting. Why are you making me leave Burning Man? <laughs> That's the worst parents ever. No. <laughs> Sorry, my eyes watered a little. That's so, okay. so what, what do you what do you think? It's awesome. I think it's really cool, and I I, I like the I, I, idea of experiencing different things. So the games were a little. The loading took a while mm -hmm. and and figuring out there was a lot of intro things. It was just like, okay, can we just start playing now? <laughs> Look at this thing, and it's way behind me. And I'm like, sure, okay. And then I kept watching the Avengers trailer. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. I don't care anymore. Uh, the, the Avengers trailer is really fun because again, like I, I guess you, I, I dropped in kind of midway, and you're like flying through the middle of a fight. Right, right. So like, it starts off your it's it starts off your Tony Stark Iron Man in the armor, mm -hmm. and his the Stark Tower gets broken into. I think is the is the kind of the story. And everyone else's. It's it's kind of like that. Did you see Age of Ultron? Yes. Not not a big spoiler here because it was in the previews. So, but there's the scene where they're kind of hanging out in his place, and Ultron kind of comes to life. Um, and there's the whole "there's no strings on me" section. That's kind of where it kind of starts off from. But Tony or is for some weird reason already in armor. Oh my gosh! Could you imagine when we start getting the VR porn? How many people are just going to start running in and doing inappropriate things to <laughs> objects? Get off my couch! What are you doing to my couch? And I know what game you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so 20, so we were, that was pow probably powered up for about 25 minutes. Right. And it burned through 25% of the battery as oh, well. Oh, jeez. Mm, wow. So now the interesting thing, and, and I didn't bring anything with me, but on the bottom, and they actually obviously thought about this problem. Because on the bottom of the device, there's okay. a pass-through charging port <laughs> that will in, that will instantly charge your device. Because keep in mind that the Oculus is pretty much just really nice optical lenses that it's not powered up in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. um, it's just pretty much saying, hey, it's telling the phone, hey, you're plugged in. And hey, there's a head in the headset because oh, as soon so as there's you... not any actual like really a lot of technology in the headset itself. No, wow, it's all every all the guts are running off the so, phone. So so it's really a very spiffy Google Glass <laughs> or Google. Much. I'm sorry, Google Cardboard. Yes. Wow. 